Today I'll be talking about buying used phones, preferably Android phones, off of the internet. Uh, while shopping on Slick Deals, I saw quite a few used Android phone deals. And one thing that they mentioned about all these deals is you should check the battery life. So if, even if you purchase on eBay, uh, there's sellers rarely tell you what the battery life is on these phones, but like here on this Woot deal, supposedly the phone batteries are supposed to be at like 80 to 90 percent. The the biggest issue is uh, unlike iPhones here, when you go into settings battery, you have battery health, which will tell you what the battery health of your battery is. Over here it says 86 percent. In Android, we don't have that. So if we go into settings for the tablet or the what's it called uh, okay. all you have is your current battery charge and the same thing goes over here in, in uh, Android this is Android 11 you click battery and device care for my Samsung tablet all it tells me is my current battery percentage so it doesn't tell you what your battery health is which is something that you would prefer getting in Android, uh, so on the Slick Deals ads, I found quite a few people mentioning AccuBattery. So if you want to check your battery health, there's an app called Bat AccuBattery. And it's pretty useful. It tells you what your battery health is after a number of charges. So if you click on health here on the bottom, at the very top, it'll show you what your battery health is. It says mine is 93% for my used Pixel 3 A phone. And this is after 11 charge cycles. Uh, to get more accurate battery readings, you should get more charge cycles. So uh, I think around 8 is enough, but 4 can give you a, a rough estimate. 4 charge cycles, like using your phone, then charging it. I did also here for my... Um, my Samsung tablet so over here click on health at the very bottom and it'll show me that after one charge my battery health is supposedly at 100 percent but that's probably not accurate because this tablet is around seven months old so as I mentioned before you need to do a few charge cycles to get a more uh, better estimate or accurate estimate uh, also, when you first install the app, it won't have any battery health information, so it will be blank. It's not broken. It just needs to charge to calculate the, what do you call it, battery capacity. So you need to charge that. So if you think about buying a used phone off of, let's say, Woot or eBay, I definitely recommend for Android phones to try out AccuBattery. And so the two important points is after you install it, it won't have any battery health. You have to charge it once at least. But if you want accurate readings, charge it and use it and charge it a few times. That's it. Not a, not a bad uh, app for checking your battery health. I wish uh, Android had it by default like iPhones.